So, who was then? Kemi Banarop, right? Uh, is running for leader of the Tory party. She seems too interesting to, to be in with a chance, right? She seems like she might actually have conservative values, so I doubt it. The boring, the insanely boring bloke, with the white bloke with the glasses, he's probably going to... Because I, I mean, amazingly, the Tories are as useless in opposition as they were in government, right? It, incredible, right? Absolutely, in, uh, yeah, absolutely incredible. What was I just putting up? Oh, yeah, fine. So we got... Uh, so she launched that campaign... Reverencing the David Tennant being a twat, which you know she has a lot to choose on. But as he directly targeted her with his, his twattery, uh, uh, you know she she seized upon it, and good for her. Until we wake up and Kemi Badenoch doesn't exist anymore, I don't wish ill of her. I just wish her to shut up. No, I will not shut up. When you have that type of cultural establishment trying to keep conservatives down, you need someone like me who's not afraid of Doctor Who or whoever. I mean, you know, it is like um, the the establishment, right? It's really genuinely punching down. And like, what happened to uh, diversity and inclusion? I thought that was a big thing. Oh no, it's only okay if they might vote Labour, right? That's what. What's the two tiers system uh, uh, um, they live on now? If they vote Labour, right? That's it, right? She's she's uh, she looks right. She's a woman. She's black. Could be a lesbian as well. Who knows? Uh, uh, but she doesn't vote Labour. Therefore, she's bad, right? Therefore, she's bad. And who's going to take the fight to them and not let them try and keep us down? That's not going to happen with me. So, toxic fandom have not been happy. And also, it's not bad knock. It's bad knock. There is no bad in my name. I just want people to to be clear on that. Now this was a let's just watch David Tennant again. Like this extreme twattery. Look, look, look. How, Until we wake up, I mean, okay. look, look at how stupid he looks. Like, what on earth is he wearing with a like a? He looks dumber than the pirate captain in the pirate planet with the. I mean, I love the idea of the robot parrot. That was great because the robot parrot can f face off against canine. Great idea. He looks like he got a parrot on the fucking shoulder. Where is he? He's had another LGBTQIA plus award, right? Uh, uh, for being the bestest ally ever. Here, take my kid. Take my kid and cut his balls off, right? Uh, it's just like, honestly. So uh, I've, I've, said, I've said this before. I will say it again. There is, uh, you know, when, when, there's a tradition of Judaism. At the end of the day, is all the great uh, uh, villains, like supervillains, come back. Uh, come back and gain power on the earth in the end of the day. And so there was this form of idolatry called Moloch, right? It was quite a good episode of Blake 7 called, called Moloch, uh, which was a supercomputer, right? But this Moloch was this thing that you would um, you would sacrifice your children to, to worship it, right? And you would do that. And it was essentially nature. It was a love of nature, saying how wonderful the natural order of nature is. And somehow you would uh, they'll reconcile that with... Uh, sa literally sacrificing it. And your Badenoch doesn't exist anymore. So I think that that's exactly where David Tennant and and George, uh, David and jo Georgia Tennant are. They are so freaking excited to have a uh, non-straight kid, right? And frankly, you know, you know, here's the thing. Go watch Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I haven't seen that for a while, but go go watch the Temple. I was struck last time I saw it about how it was a movie that, that Indiana Jones was a champion for children, right? Champion for kids. And the, you had, like, the romantic, you know, stuff with uh, Mrs. Spielberg, Willie Loman. Was it Willie? Right? I think so. Uh, and um, But when you watch it now, it's so innocent, right? It's more of like a, what a little kid would think sex is like, or would think that boys like to kiss girls, right? And it had that innocence. And that innocence is a good thing, right? That in, that innocence is a, a, a great thing, and it, it's an innocence that's been driven out of our society, and not for the good, frankly, right? I mean, like, you know, I, I like my, my, my point with, um, uh, you know, not uh, I wasn't happy about the, drag show article they did in, in Doctor Who magazine, right? I, and my point was this, that, well, I don't mind there being adult entertainment for adults, right? I think that was okay in a place where 
we had public decency where there was a space, there was an adult entertainment. And we don't have that at all. We don't have that in Doctor Who. We don't have we don't have it anywhere, right? We don't have it anywhere. And it just seems to be terrible grooming, right? Normalizing fringe sexuality to children, which David Tennant is doing right now. And at the same time, punching down at a black woman, you know, because uh, uh, she has the wrong politics. You mindless twat, right? David Tennant is a mindless twat. So uh, the interwebs. <laughs> We're not happy about this. This is hilarious. hilarious. Let me do it. Share screen. Do it. So it's uh, uh, Mr. Trilby, right? Mr. Trilby uh, is like, they're just so incensed by it, right? Uh, uh, so he says, 2020, Tory MP Peter Bone claimed uh, Doctor Who was a Jewish indoctrination tool. Uh, he was suspended for sexual misconduct. Labour won the 2024 by-election. Um, now, Mr. Tardis is obsessed with Jews, as are most liberals. You know why most liberals are obsessed and hate Jews? It's because they're jealous of Jews. Why are they jealous of Jews? Because everything in their world boils down to victimhood, right? Victimhood is the most important thing, and the Holocaust is the ground zero for victimhood, right? And so they, it's a weird jealousy. So everything's got to be tied to Jews, but I don't think this is a true statement at all, right? Here, so let's go to the uh, this version of the, the Grok, right? Uh, we'll ask Grok. Did Tory MP uh, say that Doctor Who was the Jewish indoctrination tool? Or we'll say in twenty in twenty twenty? No, we'll just say we'll just say indoctrination tool. Let's see what Grok has to say about this because I don't think it's true. I think that guy's a liar. And I think he's making shit up. Let's have a look. So the answer. There is no credible information. And look, he pulls up his tweet. It's so funny. There's no credible information uh, from the provider sources or general knowledge up till September 1st, 2024. In other words, Mr. Trump is lying, right? That uh, indicated that uh, to Tory MP Peter Bo Bone claimed Doctor Who was a Jewish indoctrination. When you, Mr. Trilby, when you leave Jews alone, Right, you're again. You're obsessed with Jews, and you hate Jews at the same time. Like this, this obsessive hatred. Right, it's really weird and creepy. Right, it's like I remember on uh, Howard Stern when he used to listen to Howard Stern in the early two thousands. That uh, he always used to have this KKK guy, Daniel Carver, and his wife had this big collection of black dolls. You know, black people dolls. Uh, uh, and uh, I just thought that was that was just like obsessive. And ha obsessive hatred, right? The same with Mr. Trilby and Jews. He is obsessed and he hates Jews. As his timeline t seems to indicate strongly, doesn't it? Uh, with it? However, there is a mention on X, formerly Twitter, by a user suggesting such a claim, but this post does not provide verify. In fact, they're literally talking about him. Verify what evidence is considered misinformation and uh, misinterpretation. Uh, Peter Bourne has been involved, involved in various uh, controversies, including bullying and sexual misconduct. Here's the thing. that I never understood that about Trump, right? There's so much stuff about Trump you could, like, legitimately dislike, right? And, you know, not want, want to deal with at all. Uh, um, but uh, uh, I, I never understood the need to make anything up, right? It's so absolutely bizarro, Bill, right? It's just so bizarro, Bill. Uh, including bullying and sexual misconduct, allegations which led to suspension of the Conservative Party and eventually losing a seat in the by-election. Uh, but none of the detailed reports of official statement linked him to comments about Doctor Who in this context. Therefore, based on me, it seems that Peter Byrne, uh, uh, it seems unlike the people who ever made that claim about Doctor Who. Yeah, you're full of shit, Mr. Trilby. Grok is telling you, right? You are full of shit. But here's the thing. We all knew you were full of shit, right? I, 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 normally, do you, I, does, he, does he have more going on about this? Hang on. Uh, uh, do you understand how embarrassing it is for someone who wants to be the next prime minister leading with how they got to be with the guy from Doc 2? No, it's not they got a beef with the guy from Doc 2. It's that he slandered her, right? And he used his influence to push her down, 
right? It's it's it was it's not good, right? This is not a good look for David Tennant, right? Because he's a twat. Bottom line is a twat, and it's a twat that has just destroyed his legacy, right? Genuinely, genuinely uh, um, uh, destroyed his legacy. So we have the. Uh, uh, and, and so, yeah, the response is always the same, right? We, we, we don't read the headlines. They're not going to pay for this. Kerry Murray Maddox, a bizarre claim, Doctor Who tirade won't win at the leadership contest. Uh, it probably won't because the Tories are useless. The Tories are awful, right? They are, they are the, yeah, they are the worst scum-sucking uh, 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 waste of skin, I think, that the uh, universe has ever uh, produced. But, like, they, just look at the language. Bizarre. What's bizarre about it? David Tennant said she was she should just shut up because she thinks that uh, um, sexually mutilating children isn't kind, is in fact cruelty. Like right? sterilizing children isn't kindness, right? And again, if a child cannot consent to have sex, they can't consent to lose the ability to have sex or lose the ability to have children. Right, it's the same thing, but that's essentially where it's going. Right, that's essentially what this has always been about. It's like they're, they're, when they get this for long enough, they'll turn around and go, "Well, children consent to puberty blockers. Why can't they consent to sex? Obviously, they can." Right, I really genuinely believe this is a drumbeat march towards changing society to make it okay to fuck kids. And don't go, oh, that can't be. What, you never heard of the Romans? Really? There have been many societies where paedophilia is A-OK. -okay, and I think that's where they want that's where, where, where they want to get to. Right? I mean, but yeah, they have to belittle it in every way possible. Bizarre, Doctor Who time. How is it bizarre? Right? How is it bizarre that like one of the most popular actors in the country tells you to shut up? That's not, yeah, 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 it's not bizarre to say it's a tirade, right? Uh, I love that standard. Shall we look, look at more uh, independent? Independence thought is always hilarious. Um, uh, Badenoch launches Tory leadership with attack on Doctor Who. Well, fair enough. They'll get my vote just for that, darling. The Tory leadership hopeful says Labour will fail. Well, they are. How, how much more can they fail? Like, the Conservatives have to be, uh, uh, have to be the change sought by the British voters. Well, again, that just seems like something really sensible, doesn't it? Because Labour didn't win this election. Tories lost it, right? And boy, are we all paying for that now, right? The complete attack on freedom. Uh, fine. There's a go. Uh, Kemi uh, has officially launched a Tory leadership campaign with the promise to not shut up, reigniting the row with David, uh, with Doctor Who actor David Tennant. Good for her! And I hope every part of it is uh, makes David Tennant squirm and Georgia Tennant uh, no Georgia Tennant won't squirm because that means she she might have an idea she might be wrong about something and don't think she could possibly possibly um, uh, <laughs> look at that this one, again you got at some point you've got you've got to, this I just look at this video this anti Trump video at some point you've got to understand that nobody believes a word you say about anything that you're just screaming insanity in, into the wind. Like into like the other insane people who uh, believe this nonsense, right? Um, for, uh, the shadow housing is actually railed against the cultural establishment trying to keep conservative voices down. Do you deny that? Do you really? Do you deny you 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 browbeaten conservatives to the point where they say chicks have dicks? Okay, yes. And promise to take the fight to Doctor Who or whoever, uh, or whoever, and not let them try and keep us down. Uh, look, I don't think she's got a chance to win, but man, it's um, I think that's a strong, it's a strong pitch. Uh, in the video teeing up her leadership uh, leadership launch in Westminster, Miss uh, Badenoch used a clip of the actor saying he wished she would just shut up. And I love the way he thinks. I don't want anything bad to her. I just wish you'll shut up, David. Mate, we all wish you'll shut up. And we'll never see you again, right? Yes. Uh, but, you know, we, we don't feel a need to go on uh, some queer award show and scream it from the fucking rooftops. By the way, how's those Doctor Who ratings uh, uh, working out for you? Exactly. Uh, let's use a clip of the actor saying he wish he would uh, shut up 
and she hoped that the uh, uh, hope for a world in which she doesn't exist anymore. That that's wishing ill of her, right? That yeah, that means you want to have her murdered. <laughs> So uh, good for her for launching it. Mr. Daniel Cummins sparked a row at the time with then Prime Minister uh, Rishi Sunak. Well, what a useless piece of shit he is. Uh, if you're calling for women to shut up and wishing they didn't exist, you are the problem. Well, again, listen, if you if Rishi Sunak can get a mic drop on you, you're a fucking moron, David fucking Tennant, aren't you? I don't think there's anything anybody could really disagree with. Uh, no, I will not shut up, she said. When uh, you have that kind of cultural statement trying to keep... Oh, we're, we're just repeating this now. Um, but best of luck to her. I mean, I don't know. Who's the one that's really insanely boring? It's Oh, it's... Um, not James Cleverly. Is it Tom to, uh, Tugendhat? This guy, the guy at the bottom... He is the most boring person I've ever seen in my entire life, right? Uh, I don't know who James Clevery is, but I saw he was actually quite good in, in Parliament the other day. Oh, he, or today. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure he is. Uh, yeah, now let's look at it from... Uh, oh, that, was that The Independent? Yeah, this is The Independent. Uh, uh, yeah, this is just like seething anger. Generally, see, it's like... Aah! And now... Uh, um, Fed up somebody who puts the screws into Trump. I mean, God, this guy hated Trump. Got he got fired by Trump, and all of a sudden he doesn't like him. Oh, well, that's independent for you, like devoid of any like legitimate news of any kind, any way, shape, or form, right? So you know, this has been uh, the ongoing gaslighting that we live in. Doctor Who has always been political, says Sylvester McCoy. Yes, but politics are different now. Now the politics are complete repression again. The two-tier system you have in England are if you vote Labour, you can call for the death of Jews. You can call for the genocide of Jews. You can call for the death of Tories. You can call for the massacre. You can call for their th throats to be slit, uh, slit. You can put out intense misinformation. Yep, that's it. And, and it's all fine, right? It's all fine. But if you're not going to vote Labour, you can't do any of that stuff. Right, that's what I mean. And when Doctor Who was, you know, when Doctor Who was political, it was very good. Now it's not political. Now it's uh, a propaganda. Propaganda and politics are very different, right? Yeah, propaganda involves politics, but also political commentary involves politics, right? And the political, and you can tell how it's political commentary, not propaganda, because the stories was the central thing. I mean, Happiness Patrol's coming out one about a month's time. Uh, a new swanky version. I heard they uh, when they showed it at the BFI, they showed them the wrong version. People freaked out. People were like so mad. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it, which I can understand, right? I, I can totally understand. But uh, uh, you know, it, again, this pretense that like drag today is exactly the same as it was in the 1970s. It's not. I mean, it might have been behind closed doors, but I wasn't behind closed doors. This isn't widow fucking twanky. This is, uh, 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 you know, somebody r rubbing a plastic cooch in a five-year-old's uh, face. So, yeah, it's not the same thing. But, like, again, actors are fucking morons. I mean, they just are. And don't get me wrong. I think Sylvester McCoy uh, is genuinely a nice and, and wants to be a good person. I think, so. I think so. most people are nice and good, want to be good people, right? I just think they're fucking morons. They can't think further than a fucking nose, right? Um, the Act of 87 Doctrine insists that shows politics that got him hooked in the 1960s. Well, what the sh I mean, they describe the Daleks as being, uh, you know, uh, dealing with uh, nuclear war and very Nazis, which was very, like, you know, in vogue at the time. But there was nothing... I don't remember them ever like explicitly looking into camera and saying, oh, just like the Nazis. So, yeah, okay, this it just see the doctor has always been yes, it has always been political. I agree with you, right? I agree it's always been been political. Um but it's not but these are not politics now. Again, I mean, hasn't the complete repression been enacted by the uh, this new Labour government. Has that been a hint that you might be the baddest? No, actually, it, it isn't because like they just say, well, they're bad people. They deserve to go to prison for being bad people, right? Oh, again, actors are morons. I think that's the uh, 
the overriding arc of this of the uh, the stream. Actors are more. So let's see what he's going to say. So it's not guy who played the uh, the lead in Doctor Who in the late 1980s has insisted the BBC show has always been political, right back to its very beginnings. I mean, I I tend to agree with him, frankly. It's always and it's always been political. It's always been progressive, right? But now it's progressed away from goodness and sanity, right? Now it's just like again, you got the most popular Doctor Who, I would say, advocating for the sexual mutilation of children and saying anybody who doesn't advocate for the sexual mutilation of children are actually evil Nazis. That in a way that you can't even imagine, right? That they had the wrong version. <laughs> uh, I gotta find some. There's somebody who sent me stuff out on Twitter. Somebody was like, he's thrown out because they complained so bloody loudly, right? And I can understand. Look, I pay to see you know this new spanking version of Hackman Troll. I'm expecting to see it, right? Okay, what's it? Can I find? Uh, uh, let me see if I can find find anything about about on the Twitter Uh Happiness Patrol BFI. Let's see if anybody talks about it. Because, uh, again, people are super pissed off about it, right? Uh, everybody said they had a great time. Oh, that's cool. They had uh, Fifi was there. Fifi looking in very good nick, right? In very, very good nick. Uh, but they, they have the... The other people complaining? I don't know. I don't know, but people were super complaining. Ah, we should have saved all that stuff. Never mind, can't find it. People were people were pissed. In short, people were uh, uh, generally speaking quite pissed off. The story written by Graham Curry set in a world where it's illegal to be unhappy uh, and was designated as a political sire uh, with the villainous Helen A. Sheila Hancock intended to be a character of Mark, Prime Minister Mark Thatcher. Yeah, I think that's totally legitimate, right? I really do. I think it was a. Um, it was. It, I, I actually probably agree with the sentiments of the time that uh, I mean, look, it was '88, so you had um, so yeah, yeah. So you had like the Reagan government just fucking over the gay world with, with AIDS, right? They, I mean, man, the gay world was screwed beyond screwed with AIDS, right? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, quite disturbingly so. So I, I you know. I thought I'm back again. I would probably uh, uh, support some whatever that was, but because literally everything is gay all the time, always, right? I, I, I would like things, so. but now, but then it was more like a question of just being alive, right? <laughs> just being a person, right? Just existing is what they say today. Uh, dressing our story, sorry, then can incorporate the political slant. McCoy, the seventh doctor from 87 to 89, and again in 96 for 10 minutes. Come on. Uh, in the 1960s, I got hooked on uh, Doctor Doctor, and the reason was the the because they bought uh, politics and it subtly put in there. There is no subtlety. What really? Okay, let me just compare and contrast what you're calling subtle. Now, let's, let's pull up the Starby, shall we? Uh, oh, man, even better, even better. One second, one second. Where's my live at five? Uh, uh, I think it was, was it? yeah. What's subtle about this? Okay, what is subtle? I'll tell you what, when we both get out of this, we'll suck each other's dicks. Let's argue across the stars. After we suck each other's dicks, and while we're sucking each other's dicks, maybe fingling each other's assholes, because you know that's just normal in 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 2024. You know where there is no space for anything not to be hyperly sex sexualized in a weird fringe. Sex. What's subtle about this? Oh, so subtle! It's so oh subtle. God. I mean, like it just seems like two blokes talking. Totally subtle. Oh, now we've got to go. Oh, that was subtle. Oh, I'm going to cry a bit. Oh, because I'm being so subtle. 
Can oh, lose your but he can't suck my dick in space. Well, save the world. He's such a shit doctor. Uh, as a character level and an acting level, he's just so shit in this role. Oh, yeah, no, this is subtle. Totally. I mean, I, 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 does it look not subtle to you? I know. Now, let's be subtle together. <laughs> I mean, I think I think go, going for the breast grab as well is a little bit much, don't you? I love seeing Doctor Doctor Who tongue kiss a bloke. I always find that subtle. Oh, it's all stunning and brave. I know I'm fine, but oh, so stunning, so brave. Well, that was subtle, wasn't it? Oh, now he's lost Sato and just went to shit. Yeah, she couldn't leave until he kissed the doctor and pushed her off. Then it's all okay. Exchange. Round one and six. Well, that was subtle. Find me. You know, and that he's the last to go. I found that pretty dull, subtle. <laughs> Yep. Uh, well, I, that's how I would describe shooting Catwoman's performance. Subtle. Subtle. Uh, in uh, the they started uh, they started to swing. They started to change. It was a kind of revolution, a peaceful and wonderful revolution going on. And Doctor Who, I mean, the Chinese one was pretty bad, but uh, in the one in the West, not so bad. Uh, and Doctor Who was the only decent thing on BBC. <laughs> well, not anymore. There's nothing decent on BBC now. And then uh, 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 anything that talked to young people like me in a political way. What story was so political in the 60s? Doctor Who episode guide. Fine. One second. Oh no, wrong one. I'm not the who site. God. Healthy <clears throat> Charlton. No, that wasn't political. Daleks. Yes, the um, the uh, you know the mutation, the uh, nuclear weaponry. Yes, that was Edge of Destruction. No, Marco Polo. No, Keys of Maris. No, Aztecs. No. Sensor rights, no. I know. Uh, Reign of Terror, a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Not I don't know. Planet of Giants, very subtly. Dalek Invasion of Earth, no. I mean, you had like Life in Wartime under Occupation, which was, uh, I, I mean, it wasn't so long ago that it was in, in France, right? The Rescue of the Romans, no. No, no, there's no point. Web Planet, no, other than. The app people were bad and the B people were good. Crusade, no, but a brilliant story. I love the Crusade. Space Museum, uh, awful story with great haircuts. Uh, the Chase, no. There's nothing subtle. There's no, not subtle. There's nothing political about that. Time Meddler, no. Galaxy 4. I mean, you got like, you know, the beautiful women are the bad guys. Mission of Unknown. I mean, yeah, okay, you could say the whole Mavic Chen political uh, machination. Uh, that, that could be political but not really um massacre no but man massacre is such a great story and the arc as well celestial toy maker man they want a real good run there but nothing political war machines smugglers 10 plants they had a black pilot that's not political power of the daleks but paradox is really is about politics it really is about the internal politics of uh was it the, the planet vulcan Highlanders, yeah, okay. So I think there was a definite uptick tick in politics from 66, right, when uh, Trouton came in. Uh, so that was good. Underwater Menace, very political. I agree with you there. It was uh, talking about workers' rights. Moonbase, no. Uh, Macro Terror, again, fight the man. Don't trust authority. I like all that, right? Faceless ones, political, no. Evil of Daleks. 
not really, no, right? Two of the side men. I mean, you have the sexual politics going on with uh, emancipated women. Uh, Abominable Snowman, I couldn't really judge because the reconstruction of it is so awful. Right, I got, I, I'm looking for the, the In Levine one. I really got to go through that. Ice Warriors, again, you have like, you know, strong females in command positions. Anyway, oh, yes, that was political. Web of Fear. Um, yeah, Fear from the Deep Wheel in Space. I don't know. Dominators, yes, I would call that political. Mind Robber, not political, but contemporary. Invasion. Yeah, again, Crotons, uh, uh, Seeds of Death. No, there's no politics. War games, yes, and very, a very anti-war story, right? Uh, but yeah, yeah. I, Silver, mate, you, you, you saw an episode, you went, oh, yeah. You must have, must have just caught the right episode. Um, yeah, yeah, but okay. Uh, so it's always been a little bit as far as you're concerned. As far as everyone's concerned, it's the politics now are fucking insane. In the 1960s, they weren't saying, you know, hack off a five-year-old's nuts to make him feel like he's how he's supposed to be. Uh, how is it was directed by Chris Clough, who has gone on to great success as a TV producer. Oh, he did Mr. Mr. Bates versus the Post Office. Blimey. Wow. I'm really impressed. Oh, yeah, we can't argue that all drunk and drama should have some sort of political edge. Yes, but there's a political edge is you're bad if you don't vote like me. That's not that propaganda. Right? Uh, if you do a drama without any purpose and it disappears into, into the ether and it's just bubblegum, well, you could say that about, okay, which episode of the Jodie Whittaker run do you remember? None. They're all just bubblegum, right? It disappeared into the ether. Right? Um... It's about people's struggles against something or they're trying to make something of their lives and something comes against you. Okay. Echoing the statements of fellow panelists, Sheila Hancock added that, okay, you're all, I, I, I wish actors got to, had to read a little card every morning and said, I am an actor. I, I'm a moron, right? That, well, I have nothing to say on politics whatsoever, right? Okay, you can interpret a, skip, a script. That's good. Uh, that's what the arts are and the post office thing uh, and all that does. What? That's what the arts and the post office thing and all that does. It tells the nation what's happening. It's our duty to do that. But you're not. You're telling people what, you're th what you think's happening, but because you are a moron, you have no idea what's actually happening, right? Uh, Doctor Who, the collection uh, features 14 original episodes, including Celebrate Stars Like Remembrance of Dark. This whole season, I'm looking forward to. I mean, e even uh, Silver Nemesis. Uh, it is selling it. Yeah, I don't tell you. I don't know to tell you. I mean, I don't want to tell you. You're a moron. Will you shut up, moron? Again, you're an actor. It doesn't that doesn't mean uh, uh, you have any idea what you're talking about. blow my clear that season three doesn't happen right isn't again because i hate this version of doctor who because it's got nothing to do with doctor who just it's all about being queer all right i i mean like I, I, yeah so what's not to love the you know the condescending hatred i look i'll give okay here here's the uh first clue that this era is uh, me as a lifelong doctor who fan has a lot to absolutely hate because it hates me what's not to love it's unhinged hatred of its dislike of the unlike so let me find the yasmin finney scene oh god it makes me want to wretch every time and i hate that intro Uh, where is it? Uh, it doesn't fit any be. Uh, I like the start. I mean, it's just such a waste of resources. Here we go. Closing down all 
psychedelic light wave emanators and transferring excess power to the broken dome profixolators. Mum, can you hear me? She, they're not very good at this role either. Mum, Doctor, I think it's safe for you to come down now. Yeah, I mean, there's a chick with a dick here, but you know, other than that, you're probably okay. Rose? Too much power for one person, but you had a child and the Meta Crisis passed down. A shared inheritance. Binary? Non binary. Yeah, that's subtle. Always been subtle. Binary. Hang on, remove. All right, there you go. So, I mean, that's Matt Smith saying, I, I haven't watched Doctor Who since I left. Okay. Matt Smith says, there's confusion towards those who attack Doctor Who on culture war grounds. Again, it's so weird. They start, they, they openly say it's a queer show. We're making telling queer stories. And then they're surprised that the 97% of people who aren't queer are, uh, uh, yeah, not very interested. And again, it's not an attack to say accurately you've got the lowest ratings of all time. And it's not because of YouTube or changing bloody viewing habits. No, it's because it's a queer fucking show. And your queer audience is 3% of the fucking audience. That's why, that's why you're getting, what, approximately 3% of the audience you should be getting. Unbelievable. Uh, the actor cast in the long running show between 2010 and 2014, before Capaldi, the series, blah, 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 two more creative cycles, both of them awful, right? Uh, with the latest being returning, Rusty Davis and Star Shooting Cat were playing the 15th Doctor. Again, the reason they keep calling him the 15th Doctor is to legitimize him as the Doctor. That's the entirety of the reason, right? Because otherwise, you wouldn't know he's a doctor. The first black man to play the role, Gatwa has faced racist abuse. No, he fucking hasn't. Shut your, citation, please. What race? Have is have saying this crying weirdo asshole is shit in Doctor Who isn't racist abuse. They're saying he's a shit choice for the doctor. He's a poor actor, and he's also a fucking asshole who supports the uh, uh, you know the 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 genocide machine that is fucking Hamas. Why? Because he's a fucking arsehole actor, and they're all fucking arseholes. Uh, so, yeah, no, I love the way you just say that as if it's what Show me the racist abuse, right? I haven't seen any. Uh, well, some viewers also turned on the show for its inclusion of the LGBTQ plus themes. Yes, because that's made it into a queer fucking show. It's not Doctor Who anymore, right? And it's not because I hate gay people. It's I like Doctor Who not being a queer fucking show. So, you know, the 97% of the fucking world that isn't queer might also like it. But no, no, these inclusive cunts are the exact opposite, right? There's nothing loving about them. Oh, God, I hate them. Uh, in an interview with The Times, Smith explained that he couldn't fathom why certain people have taken such an aggressive style. So, again, again, like... If, have you never seen Doctor Who fandom? Right? Those debates reduce it to a place that it doesn't need to be in. Then why are they there? Why did they go there then? Right? I agree they shouldn't be there. Uh, people that attacked or blew my mind. What? Uh, it's about an alien who was caught cool and travels around the universe saving civilization. What's not to love? It's not about that. It's about queer stories. About a crying, weird, useless... Uh, uh, queer person, a uh, high, uh, high profile role in Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon, and admits the uh, to really watching Doctor there, there, exactly. Why did before you talk about it, I mean, it's like uh, uh, when Colin Baker said that Jodie Whittaker was great as the Doctor, I was like, really, what, 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 what do you like about her performance? Have you seen any? Oh, no, I've got, I, I've got them all ready to watch. I'll watch them. No, you fucking won't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know it's easy to say it's great while you don't watch it. Yeah, this Labour government's fantastic. They're not fascist at all. They're not. There's no two-tier guy. As long as you've got your eyes closed and your fingers in your ears, it's fucking fine. 
Uh, nobody knew I wasn't Sonny. I was a fucking doctor. Okay, I'm not going to A record. I feel very proud to have been in the show. You were fantastic in the show. It changed my life because a few shows watched by a nine-year-old mom and dad and 83-year-old grandmother. It's three generations. You have people at home. Okay, it's not watched by any of those people anymore, is it? It's an amazing responsibility. I just wish your successors, I mean, after Kabaldi, also felt the same way. Doctor Who aired its first Christmas special uh, in six years of 2023, the Church and Ruby Road. To, it was the lowest rated one ever, wasn't it? Let's have a quick look. And I love the way they keep bumping up the ratings, right? Doctor Who ratings accumulator. Is this the... No, I'm looking at the 2024, but look at that. Even off the bullshit, they had it's only up to 4.01. Like 2.6 overnight. Fuck me. It's just embarrassing, darling, right? It's just embarrassing. Do you have a link to the previous one? No. Yeah, and this is Lauren. Like, I'm sorry. I, I this just I don't think it's gonna be good, right? I don't think it's 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 gonna be good. Uh Doctor Who Future hangs in the balance of Disney. I believe it does. I really believe it does. And I don't think it hangs in the balance. I think it's fucked. Right? I think it's genuinely fucked. Ratings. Uh, rate, rate ings? Ratings. Uh, cumulator. I'm spelling that wrong. How, how do I? Do I that should do the trick. Wizzy Will. Series 13. Oh, nearly there. I'm dated. 2023. There you go. So, shooty got, well, I mean, like, look at these ratings dive. I mean, look at that. Christmas got 4.73. And then uh, uh, the next one got 4.01. And uh, that this that's the overnight compared to the uh, 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 seven day rating, right? Lowest rate is one ever, I believe, wasn't it? 4.73. Let's look at the other new, what is it? The. Uh, Reasons accumulator. No, look at that in a second. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? We go. Doink. Ratings. I'm going to make. I'm going to make. Oh, yeah. Ratings accumulator. 20, 21-22. and twenty twenty. Let's look at the Christmas special ratings there as well. Is um oh well, no, it, it, well these weren't Christmas specials. Was uh, by the way, have you noticed how they hide the uh, AI now? We 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 we, we never done. So there wasn't a New Year's special. This was so wait wait. This was Halloween, and then you had oh so the rate was three point two one. Overnight, which is okay, so it wasn't the lowest rated one ever. I take it back. I I was incorrect. 3.21. So bounce back from Jody. And then 4.69. Man, that look how it used to do before people realized how shit it was. Yeah, look, the BBC is just a fucking disaster. All right. Uh we'll return. And we've got no one called Joy to the World. Uh Gatwell will start with both. Bridgerton's uh, Nicola Coughlin and Millie Gibson. No, she's not in it. She's not in it, I believe. I thought, thought it's, it's the new companion, right? I don't think she's in it. It's, it's, it's Radio Times. Why, why would anybody expect you know, accurate reporting from legacy media? My name's Vila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!